you think the news media will cover the event to really strike that balance? Even though many Philippine audiences are really pro Well, As I mentioned by Francis Canina, no? we, we get the most expensive uh, seat in the house, so, but, but for us it's the best seat in the house at the worst time. No? Because for us, Filipinos, whenever we cover a minor Pacquiao fight, no? we wanted to cheer them, you know? but the problem is you cannot. Because ethics dictate that uh, you cannot cheer for any a particular athlete or particular team. You know? So in terms of completing uh, everything, um, as a sports writer, we, we just cover the facts, okay? And uh, we, we, we just uh, write whatever we see. Uh, we we, we uh, uh, try to write whatever uh, result you know, that, that we see. So in, in that way, it's, it seems easy, you know? But uh, it's really hard in terms of uh, trying to uh, convince everyone that we, we're there uh, in, in a way to, to cover both sides, you know. And add to that, you know, the inaccessibility in terms of uh, getting the information from, from your, the opponent, you know? especially in this case from uh, anyone who finds Manny Pacquiao. Sometimes there are uh, second thoughts you know, or doubts whenever we, we try to ask or try to cover uh, their training camps. You know? But uh, I think if you'll be just professional and try to be balanced about it, it's really very easy because especially during actual fights, it's the, the toughest part really is how to beat the deadline and how to describe it uh, in, in, in the best possible way. You know? So uh, it's really a matter of uh, just uh, writing whatever you see uh, and, and uh, um, just, just trying to be balanced is actually not that uh, hard as far as covering an actual uh, fight uh, is concerned. Okay. Uh, when it's Pacquiao fighting, it's hard to not to show your emotions. And, I mean, when you cover the TV game or sometimes in UAP, some big legal move, but ito, I must admit, it's, 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 it's virtually impossible for you not to show any emotions. It's an, even even yung American writers sometimes they try to hide it, but alam mo na meron silang meron silang pinakabulan. Um, example when when Manny fought in 2001 in first time for the Vegas. It was just a hundred card. Um, uh, I violated a lot of uh, press ethics. I have been one. It's, it's hard. It's okay. 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 Once you enter the arena, it's parang you know, you're a part of the team. You know, you're, you're, you're representing the Philippines. You're representing the Philippines. You're representing the Philippines. Uh, no minsan, but uh, just get high, you know, of maganda yung round sa magkakating din kami nung mga star parang alam mo tingin na yari na <laughs> no? um, pero may pakiyo lang yung nangyari uh, it's, it's good, it's understandable na mga mapapatawad na lang pero hindi naman ako nag-cheer na pag tumatalo kasi minsan meron ko nakikita no, uh, parang nag-a-appearan pa sila eh no, just don't show your emotions. I don't want to do it. 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 I don't Oh, oh yeah, kasi minsan, one more thing, ano, uh, itong Pacquiao coverage or even other Pacquiao fights. Maraming nabibigyan ng credentials na hindi naman dapat na ito. So, it's, it's, ang hirap naman yung um, pipigyan kasi sa mga yun, yung mga Filipino community papers, no? um, talagang gusto nang manukol. Alam mo yung digital sports writers, kaya makakalusot, pero... I don't know how it's going to happen, but I think for this one, it's going to happen. Fair enough. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
stripping when there is a screening process. Uh, kasi they want to make sure na talaga yung dapat na na doon. Even nga yung ano, yun, not everyone will be, will be given the luxury or the privilege of covering it live. No? Uh, I think I was told na yung Greenland, ang iaalatan is about 300 seats. And those who, are, who won't be able to get uh, live access will have to watch it live at the media center. Live naman yun. For the other thing, you're not inside the, the arena. You'll, you'll be outside the media center uh, watching it live. Um, um, when well, it's Pacquiao, it's hard to contain your emotions. It's a big, big fight. Oh, yeah, uh, for example, yung when he fought Barrera the first time in 2003 in San Antonio, I think I was the only one who was there, and just one, pero wala kami ako and Luigi uh, Roman, and we were up against uh, one of the two projects, San Antonio ka naman, so Pake was just starting to make a name for himself. No, if you feel the emotion of this, it's like you don't want to cry because you lose. Because you lose, you lose. And then, you know, the mga Chicano, they, they, they tend to be very, uh, you know, uh, oh, emotional in the shot. And then when you beat, when you beat uh, their guy, it's a bit sad, but it gets into them, it gets under the skin. Um, so through the years, um, I think COVID, ano, COVID pa kaya was um, halos ang lalang ko sige po to nalang to to uh, contain a bit of my emotions when this fight pero it doesn't follow na masabi ko na hindi ako nangyari at I'm still there um, uh, when he lands a punch hindi uh, pitin, isip mo yes, yes, yes pero hindi ka pa pala pa Make sure, uh, ano ka lang, uh, you have to be calm and collected talaga. Ano ka lang, don't show as much as possible. Yung mga puti, uh, when they're covering, ayaw nila naman ganyan. Yung mga nagsisig down sa gilid na parang nag-cheer. Kasi talagang sacred, don't don't cheer in the press box. Talagang hindi ko ito. Yeah, gano'n lang yun. Gano'n lang yun. But that's it's pakeo talagang ang hirap. Ang hirap pinigil. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gonna be um, yeah, Manny Pacquiao is too difficult to. I mean, there are, personally, um, not, uh, sports writers are not saints. Um, the no cheating in press row rule is really a tough rule to follow. And uh, oh, I admit there are two coverages that I cannot. Sometimes control, I can hide my emotions. One is Pacquiao, at the moment the national anthem starts to play, you're so emotionally into the fight, you're so emotionally invested. And the other, of course, is when the Tigers are on the basketball court, um, I am absolutely, completely, and devotedly biased to the Tigers. Um, but uh, um, to a certain extent, um, it helps. Uh, like I said, one thing, the one thing that you lose right away um, in this business is your sense of awe. And at least when you know that you still have, at least when you know that when 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 the Tigers get eliminated, it still hurts. You know when Pacquiao loses, you are completely stunned. You know there's still a level of humanity in you that's left behind, and, and that, 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 that can't be a completely bad thing. But Again, it should not affect the output that you put, uh, the output in your work. Um, it should not show. We all have our personal choices. We all have our personal biases. But I think once you sit down, once you fire up your laptops or whatever, um, before you even write the first word uh, of your article, that's the time when you really have to disengage yourself from all the emotions. Um, that's why I always ask um, young writers that when you cover a really, really good game and it's really something that um, something that made you cry, something that made you shout, something that made you scream, 
I always suggest that you take five minutes to just let the emotions go so that you can write it from a more placid point of view or a more calm disposition. So that way, whatever biases you have does not go into the uh, producing of your um, articles. But it's, it's really difficult because um, once you're in there, like I said, it's a big emotional investment to cover a Manny Pacquiao fight because he he's a running he's running narrative as always with he's fighting for the Philippines. You know, he's it's always us against whoever he faces. So that's 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 really um, it does latch on to you so much. Um, but again, um, at the end, uh, your professionalism will be judged really by how you, um, the articles that you write and how you, you know, the, the, your biases should no longer creep into your um, articles. How should students cover it? Like for example, Mayweather is known for what? Pacquiao is known for what? And what really makes the two of them something like a contrapello? Um, well, Mayweather is really one of the best uh, defensive and hello uh, defensive and um, thinking fighters out there. Um, I think for me, his greatest strength really will be his ability, his, his ability to adjust in the later rounds. Um, Pacquiao is Pacquiao because of his uh, the volume of punches. His you know it's, it's really rare. It's like when you do this, um, who among you guys play video games um, and be able to take games? When you do this slider stuff, you pull one slider, one slider weight, and so But see, Pacquiao was saying it's, it's an amazing mix of speed and power, and the angles with which he throws his punches, sometimes they're just ridiculous. Even as someone's just watching, you can't help but be amazed. He throws punches, leaning back, falling down. Moving to the side, he can throw punches. So, um, you, it's not, it, it, it will be very difficult to judge who's going to win or who's going to what, but I think if we can always look at it from the point of view that um, if ever there was a boxer, I mean, this is just my, my own view, if there's, ever there was a boxer who could beat Mayweather, it would have to be Pacquiao. Um, it's just, he, he has the style to do it. Um, he just has to be able to break down the guy because we all know Mayweather is such a smart fighter, such a defensive fighter. So um, breaking him down as the fight goes on will be the, the um, will be the crucial for me. Um, Mayweather is such a defensive genius that um, he would care, and I think he doesn't care if he, if he wins a fight by knockout or decision. As long as he keeps on um, uh, connecting, landing punches, he'll be satisfied with that. Um, that's, that. That's the scary thing about him. He wouldn't engage unless he knows that he's, he's got the upper hand. Um, as um, he thinks he can win the fight on points by just uh, dancing around or just uh, flicking that jab or uh, doing some uh, glitching. Uh, we were in for a very uh, uh, a boring fight or a very frustrating fight. Um, mm -hmm. no, I, I, no, no, yeah. even, even if the crowd chants na fight, 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 he wouldn't care. Because if, if, if I fight toe to toe, if I fight from a distance, I'm guaranteed uh, $120 million. It wouldn't change as long as he keeps on winning. Uh, he'll stick to that game plan. As for Pacquiao, um, all he has to do, of course, is punch, punch in punches. No? Uh, uh, he's an uh, offensive uh, demon. Uh, the bread and butter in is punch, punch, punch. And that's what's expected of him in fight night. 